<laughs> okay, this is all very exciting. I'm especially excited about this volunteer corner. What you see around here is a group of folks that have, this is their third year in a row that they've been collecting food and resources for us for Diwali. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But here they are, they're back today, and you drop food off today. And how much did you drop off today? Do you remember? I think it was close to 1,900. 1,900 pounds. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty awesome. But we especially appreciate the kind of friendships we've developed over the last few years, and it's really good. Um, I'm going to have you two go take everybody, just introduce them, and then I want uh, Dr. Shaw here to tell us about Diwali, what's so special about it. Does that work? Of course, okay. yeah. Oh, you want to start with me? Yeah. Oh, sure. My name is Ritu Shaw. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, and just introduce the others. Oh, okay. Oh, well, sorry. Okay, this this um, gentleman here is a longtime uh, community member. His name is P. L. Gupta. He actually runs um, a seniors um, event every single month, gathering all the seniors um, in our community. And he's a real legend in our community. Oh, yeah. We all look up to him, and um, and I'm so very proud that he could be here today. That's great. Uh, this is my sister-in-law, Anita Shaw, also a philanthropist in her own right. Yes, she's I with know. the Grand Theater. I'm very mm. proud of the work that she's also done over the years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, this is Vinod Varapravan, also another uh, leader in our community. He um, he is a part of Shristi Canada. Is that correct? If, right. Yes. Um, my father-in-law, um, Dr. P. C. Shah, also known as Raju Shah, and a good um, friend, and yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. a wonderful father-in-law. Yeah. Um, Sister Margaret. He, well, I call her Sister Margaret, but she, Margaret Prashad. She's a representative on the board of um, the, our Hindu mm -hmm. Cultural Center. Um, so she comes representing the HCC, as we call it. Another board volunteer. member. Yeah. Uh, yes, and another volunteer here is... Um, Chand uh, uh, Chandra Chunilal. Chandra Chunilal. Yeah. Thank, thank you for having us here, too, Glenn. Oh. appreciate it. And Jane. It's our pleasure. Diwali is so huge. Like we, we often don't think about it too much in Canada. But it's meant so much to us as a community. I think that you have helped with this Diwali uh, food drive to bring real attention to the sector of our community is so important and, and really beneficial for us. So I hope this is this is the third straight. Let's hope it goes up to 100. It would be awesome. We really appreciate all that you've done. Dr. Shaw, you and I have talked a few times over the years. What is Diwali? For the people that are watching, what is it? Uh, Diwali in general is celebrated by different uh, Hindu, Sikh, Jain communities, but in a sense, it's like a Christmas in India, yeah, okay? Yeah. Uh, basically, it says the victory of good over bad. Mm. But in a sense, as we celebrate Christmas beyond the birth of Christ, that people gather together, family gets together, they share the gifts, fireworks, mm. like all those things that's quite now world around, okay? Yeah. As you know, the. The Hindu, Indian, Sikh, and yes. Jain communities are all over the world. So yeah. that's basically it. Yeah. And more important thing uh, here uh, in London as we started, that primarily the fundamental base principle of Hinduism, Jain, or Sikh is share and care. Yeah. Like world is one family. Was that's the fundamental principles of our uh, culture. Yeah. Uh, whether you call it Hindu culture, Vedanta, with there are different names, but that's a Sanatan Dharma, as yeah. we call it collectively, okay? Yeah. Yeah. That world is a one family. And Prabhu Seva, Jana Seva is a Prabhu Seva. In other words, service to the mankind and humanity is true service to the yeah. God. Yeah. And as you run the food drive, that when you serve the mankind and other, food is a first fundamental essential yeah. of the living beings. Yeah. That's right. And without food there yeah. is no health, there is no happiness. Yeah. So we are more than happy to be part of the London Food Bank and share and care which you do yeah. around the year. Yeah. You know, one of the funny things about Diwali, you know, as you said it's about light over darkness or good over bad, but it's funny how things have changed. When you think of good and bad, it's pretty easy to think of things in both categories. But it's getting so complicated now in Canada that there is good, like what you folks are doing, it's not just good, it's great. But bad, it's not about one person, it's about hunger, mm -hmm. right? Like there's just so many, we're, we're helping 6,000 families a month here. 
We help 40 other social agencies as well. So altogether, we're helping about a tenth of London's population through the food bank. That's bad. I mean, it's good, right, that we're, yeah, that, yeah, that we're able to do that kind of service. But the fact that people are going hungry is, is a scary thing. So it, it seems to me that Diwali is just about helping us concentrate again on the good and make sure that that overcomes the things that are there. This was your third year of doing it. Ritu, was it harder this year, easier? You had it all under your belt now and you know what you were doing? Uh, well, no, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's harder. I just think it's awareness. Yeah. Right. So as our community grows, the word grows, as we, ha um, you know, uh, reach out and have other South Asian communities help us, I think it's only going to grow. But I yeah. think it's also just I think one of the things that we might, might need to do is just get the awareness out there. But I don't think there's any shortage of people wanting to participate. Yeah. You know, there's always people saying, yeah, I want to be a part of it. I want to be part. I want to help. But it's also, you know, the manpower to get there to get yeah. that help. But I don't think it's harder. No, I mm. think people are always willing to help. They just might need a little push or guidance to guidance. know how they can help. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And our community is growing. And um, yeah. So yeah. I think as Ritu said, it's the awareness. Uh, people want to help, and they have the best to help as well. Mm -hmm. But it's the awareness going about it. Yeah. Uh, in our senior organization, I come almost every month uh, to start with only one person, two people, and now more and more people know about it. Um, it's basically letting the people know. Yeah. And uh, there is no depth of money or the resources uh, or even the willingness to do it. Yeah. How many members of the South Asian community are there in London? Do you know? You know how many? Yeah. How much? Community. Community members. Yeah. I I don't know if I have a real number on it. I would say 10,000 people. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Uh, at our Diwali event, we get about 1,000 people coming in. Yeah. Uh, at the Holi, we have 4,000, but then it's 40% uh, are non mm -hmm. non Indian community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm told it's somewhere around 10,000, but okay. I, I don't That's know. That's a lot. That's great. Um, and it's such an important part of our community for lots of reasons. But I think when it comes to this food drive, how many groups participated in the drive? Oh, so, so, so one of the issues uh, that we face is, and there is definitely an affordability issue in even in our community, especially yes. among the new immigrants, because uh -huh. we get to deal with them. There is that issue, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the other point is that, yes, there's a willingness to help. And for us, food is uh, a very primary source of uh, help for others in our scriptures as well, uh, the collection points. So we mm -hmm. were able to collect all of this because every Sunday we have about 150 children who come to our classes. Mm -hmm. So then it was slightly more easier for them just to drop it off. Yeah. Uh, one way we could increase it is by going home to home, which is being yeah. done in um, many other communities outside of London, mm -hmm. where uh, youth volunteers go out and collect it. Yeah. So that's something we could look at next year. And yeah. it's just, again, people want to give, but the convenience yeah. and all of that, yes. But there are, just to answer the question, I think there's probably about eight or nine different groups. So there's, mm. there's of course, the HCC, there's Shristi Canada, we have the seniors group who do it, there's the um, Bengali Association, there's the Nepali Association. So it's not just, uh, um, you know, three main sort of who's represented here. There are subsects of different organizations in London that also yeah. they, group together and they'll, they they'll come, come together. They'll come yeah. together. But so they, without argument, yeah. There is yeah. no the, all this organization come yeah. Yeah. with happiness yeah. and enthusiasm. Yeah. That is the most important. Yeah. This Diwali food drive. Like you know, like in the family, one brother goes this way, another this way. Yeah. But question Not is, in this. all yeah. these people, yeah. they may be going here and there, but when it comes to food drive, Diwali doing good, we are all together mm -hmm. for the city of London. And, and I, I see that kind of everywhere. Like when you think about the standard of living is much tougher now, cost of food, rents, other things. And it lenders keep giving more than they did the year before. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, yeah. like we come up to a food driver, we come up to something like Christmas, Jane and I do, we'll be sitting at home, we have a coffee in the morning and we're gonna go, how, how are we gonna meet all of these demands? And then you have a food drive mm -hmm. and people give more. Right. It, it's just it's so I think you are you're you're settled right into the heart of this community and the fact that you're that way. Right. That you, you do come together. No, no differences. Everybody contributes. And you're so fundamental to that. I, I can I ask you a, a question. We don't have to put it in the interview if you don't want to. But 
do you feel that your contributions, not just to this, but in general as a community, are recognized in London? I think, hmm. I think yes, because we've been doing a, a lot of outreach into the city. No, have you? Yeah. yeah. It's just last, uh, this past weekend, uh, uh, along we all collaborated to serve about uh, <coughs> 1,200 pizzas, extra large pizzas hmm. downtown to homeless and anybody in need, celebrating uh, one of our festivals. So uh, uh, Dr. Shah was part of it, we were part of it, hmm. so we did that. And uh, we've also been cooking meals, uh, like for Arcade and other organizations, yeah. Yeah. and trying to do it every month now. It wasn't every oh, month. Awesome. And also another organization that we work with, uh, is, uh, every two weeks we cook food and give it to different shelters and all of that. Yeah. So there is that, and then we bring the cultural aspect to it. And I think a lot of the city uh, councillors that we advocate with the schools, where we have been mm -hmm. doing outreach of our culture to schools, uh, there is recognition that you know, we are contributing yeah. citizens to yeah. the community. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad about that. And you were down just a few weeks ago delivering these samosas, right? Now you do that, <laughs> and the little treats that come with it, you do that for the last few years and, as well. And also, we finance the cost for that day for the meals yes. to different organizations. That's right. So you did it through the food bank, but we, you know, we steered most of it through to the, the hospitality center and also to Arcade. I want to say something, though. Yes. Dr. Shaw said I could have one. So I had one, it was really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> she did that, and, and we heard from both Arcade and, and the soup kitchen just how people loved them. Like, it's not normal that they would get that tasty kind of food in that, in that way, so it was awesome. I hope you feel appreciated. I mean, I, we get geared up for this time of year, and in the past it was always, you know, there was Hanukkah and there was Christmas and away you go, but it starts early now you know, with Diwali. And we get ourselves all set to go uh, for moving into these next three months when the community really mobilizes. And you folks kind of start it all. You get it all going with this, uh, these things that you're doing now. And we really appreciate it. So it means a lot to me, though, to hear that you feel that you're respected for the work that you're doing because it's pretty awesome. And for us as a food bank, we're not desperate here at all because Londoners have been so generous. But we're in need. You know, that we need support from the community to make it work. How many volunteers do you have here working? <coughs> Go ahead, Jane. Um, so we probably have about uh, 250 regular volunteers throughout the course of um, that work. Okay. But we have 3,000 people on the database. How so many? 3,000 people on our volunteer database. So they so when we send out alerts to ad hoc volunteers, um, as Ruta will tell you, it can be very difficult to get in because people sign up online. Um, and then there are groups like yours and Business Cares. So I think Business Cares has about a thousand volunteers as well. So um, we're volunteers are are the lifeblood of what we do for sure. Um, we uh, you know is is people are shocked when they hear how many people we're helping. But they're just as shocked when they find out about the amount of volunteers. Mm -hmm. So the 3,000 that Jane talked about are largely for here, and they have 1,000 or more, which would include you folks, that are out there in the community, firefighters and others that are all doing this stuff down. And people are stunned that that many people mm -hmm. are helping. Mm -hmm. But it fits together pretty well, because if you've got that many people in need, you need a lot more people helping. Yeah. And those numbers grow every year. So I just want to thank you for getting us all set up for the giving season, right? Uh, thank you for the example that you've shown to this community, that you bring all of these different aspects together in the Hindu community, and, and you're, you cooperate in ways that are amazing. And I thank you for the leadership you've shown in this community. Uh, thank you uh, also, I think for us, just we need encouragement at times, and it, sometimes it gets so hard that when folks like you come in and drop off the samosas and Jane gets that little thing, she's very happy. <laughs> but then you come down today with all of this food. So thank you very much. We're looking forward to partnering with you every year. Yes, sir. Closing, I'll say, as I called you earlier, what we need to do to expand the awareness among the community. Yeah. Because like a Christmas, you know, the Indian Hindu community, the six, it's the largest population mm -hmm. and still Few of us are here, and few of our, like HCC, Chinmayam, yeah. and Srishti, yeah. uh, Ekal, we all try to do our way. Yeah. But if it comes, there's something magic about the press yeah. and the public. Yeah. So when this goes to the 
public knowledge, yeah. it encourages it goes, yeah. and also it identifies us as a sort of a force, positive force in the community. Yeah, which you are. So, uh, yeah, next year if we can do something before the Diwali and make everybody aware about this Diwali food drive. Yeah. Uh, well, you're really leading and we appreciate that and we appreciate you. Very much. I mean that. Thank, Thank you very much. Gets us going. Gets us ready. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. And on Thank behalf you. of Hindu Cultural Center, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the London Food Bank for your dedication to supporting those in need. Well, thank you, guys. Thank, yes. you. thank you. You make it possible. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now that <laughs> I interviewed you. Yeah. Well, I want to just echo what Sister Meg said. Is you know, I think. There's a huge it's thanks that goes to, to Glenn and yeah. Jane and mm -hmm. the food bank for supporting. Yeah, you know, like as Vinod mentioned, like we have new immigrants within our own community mm -hmm. who I'm sure depend on your service. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we thank you for everything yeah. that you do here.